Sentinel-5, we are on board. Acknowledge, Sir Percival. Sentinel-5 is heaving back and will remain available for support. Confirmed. Thanks for the drop-off, Captain. Good luck, sir. Sentinel-5, out. Is this your idea of easy, monsieur? We're all secure, Percival. We move on your mark. Very well. Green! Lafayette! This is most precarious, my friend. Giving up so soon, Marquis. In position! I'll shatter you! Let's go! Stow your gear. Lafayette and Galahad, you need to gain control of the cockpit. Quietly. Understood. Isabeau and I will do reconnaissance. We need eyes on the ground amongst the guests. And imagine me with nothing to wear. I suppose I'll have to go dress shopping. Close off engagement, monsieur? Do what you must. We don't have time to distinguish between rebel conspirators and the company guards. Oh, we've worked without a safety net before. That is true. And then again, we are commandeering the flagship of the United India Company's fleet. Questions? Then let's move out. Sebastian, I must ask you, who is the old man you were talking to on Mayfair and Whitechapel? The old man. It's a long story. One that I will share with you when the time is right. There's still much that I have to find out for myself. I hope you know what you are doing. It seems that the Council grows wary of your defiance. The Order is not what it once was, Grayson. Yes. You've said that much before. <laughs> Patience, old friend. All in due time. Remember, stealth mode. Lucky. Mademoiselle has my absolute assurances. I shall be as silent as the grave. The path looks clear of guards. We should hurry. Wait for my go-ahead. On me. Go! Secure the cockpit and await further orders. This way, monsieur. Are you telling me you'd rather be stuck on a board for a week? All the same. If you ask me, right men counts. were not meant to fly in machines. Well, no one is Good. asking you. Our entrance was not noticed by the guards. Wait for me shift. I better get to my post. The lock appears to be magnetic. We should find a control unit. Progress, they call it. Look, looks like a death trap. What the? Job for a mechanic, not a guard. Don't know why I even bother. Best built ship, my eye. 
Voilà. Galahad, Lafayette. We just encountered resistance from company guards. They are using deadly force. Reciprocate if necessary. Understood. Maybe loose wire? Flip the breakers. Settle in, boys. Next mooring is at Portsmouth, and then it's an uneventful few days to the Americas. Smoke grenade. On your mark. Three. Can't even tell we're airborne two, when I'm back in the hall. One. But, yeah. the ship in the name of liberty. Percival, the cockpit is secured. Lafayette will remain at the helm. What is your status? Lord Hastings is in the vicinity of the war room, aft of your location. We will try to get eyes on him. Get here fast. Acknowledge. Shall apprise you once I've made reconnaissance. Remember, a steady hand at the tiller at all times. Leave it to me, monsieur. Yeah. 
posted sharpshooters down at Blackwall? Just a rumor. But best keep clear of the docks, just the same. And if there is any truth to it, you're better off not talking about it. Aye, good point. Wouldn't want any trouble. I thank you for the service you have all rendered to our great kingdom. Your selfless work in making this dream a reality, in building this magnificent ship, will forever be remembered. The Agamemnon is a testament to British ingenuity. It is not only the largest vessel the world has ever seen, it also represents the pinnacle of flight engineering and dirigible architecture. This Leviathan shall fly high as a symbol of progress and the future to come. It will stand as a reminder of British supremacy in the skies. That our great kingdom will be looked upon to lead the world at the end of this century as we peer into a new era is a sign of the times that should not be taken lightly. Today, we launch the Agamemnon as we take our rightful place as stewards of this world. Three-day trip. Oh, it's been only a couple of hours since we left.
Percival, we have a complication. Lucan is on board. My brother? What is the night commander doing here? Everything seems to be running smoothly. Yes, Lucan. Quite smoothly. We shall be in Portsmouth in a few hours. Indeed. Then off to the Americas. Damn it. He was to escort the Lord until the ship reached our borders. Should he be informed of the situation? I'm risk alerting the rebel agent. Galahad is right. Alistair will not appreciate being kept out of this. Worry about that later. He might yet be welcome support if the situation requires it. We proceed as planned. Understood. I'll let you know when I have a better vantage point. Whitechapel didn't have shoulder patches. Indeed. Keep me informed. No patch. Percival, we have a rebel on the ground floor. Understood. Keep searching. Turn so I can see. Confirmed. The guard nearest Hastings checks out. Excellent. Check the remaining guards. Hmm. Can't see the correct shoulder. Damn. No patch. There is a rebel on the opposing balcony. Acknowledge. Make sure you check them all. Stairs is bona fide. Good. Keep looking. That was the last one. Good. Eliminate any threats. Acknowledge. Weapon loaded. Good hunting. Lucan! Rebels! Get Hastings out now! Get him out of here! Hastings got away. I need backup. Everyone look to plan B. Percival, the mark is down. Rebels incoming. I need support now. Understood. We'll converge on you. Reloading! 
Heavy resistance from the rebels. How many of them are on this bloody ship? My friends, the company guards have just been put on high alert. I fear those amateurs may shoot anyone on sight. Back off, damn you! The bloody hell was that? A bomb just detonated on the front engine. Everyone, fall back! I'm am! You! Everyone, there's a rebel commander on board. It's the woman from Whitechapel. I'm in pursuit. Do not let her get away. This is an emergency. Received. This is an emergency. Bloody rebels. Stay on the mark. Do not let her get away. Percival, I've managed to capture one of the rebels. Good. Keep him restrained. I'll be there shortly. Response teams to beat 
Percival, I've lost the mark. I'm maintaining pursuit. Negative. Regroup on the lifeboats. We have a bigger problem. The rebels have a second device on board. Bloody. All right, I'm on my way back. Is this what you would call reasonable? We could not have foreseen these circumstances, Alastair. Your mission to Whitechapel was to remain covert. I have received word of numerous casualties and reports of destruction to the London Hospital. And now this! I intend to stand by my word. I alone will assume responsibility for all the consequences that may befall us. Sebastian! You do understand. There is little I can do to protect you from the wrath of the Lord Chancellor or of the Order. Your father will see reason. Right now, our concern should be finding the other device before it detonates. Uh, good night, your assistance. We, we must all hurry off the ship before things get worse. Sir Lucan will escort you and see to the evacuation. We must resume our pursuit. Uh, surely this is a situation for all hands. Uh, you do not intend to stay aboard. We will join you as soon as we can. Izzy, see to these people, then head to the cockpit. No, I'm coming with you. Izzy, you need to find Lafayette and get off this ship. I... Your brother charged me to bring you back safely. Do this for me. We need weapons. There's a guard station nearby. We can avail ourselves of the company's arms. The Rebels will be sending someone to detonate the second explosive. The Rebel leader. She and an accomplice escaped to enact a contingency plan. That must be it. Agreed. Let's get back to it. I'll stay here. See if you can get to the weapons hold. Cowards. If what you need, then we should move on. Agamemnon, crew instructions and training manual, chapter three. Evacuation procedures. Remember, while aboard this airship, your standing orders are to ensure the safety of its passengers and cargo at all costs. Upon emergency declaration, dignitaries and other high-priority individuals should receive your attention above all other passengers and crew. Priority cargo should be secured immediately thereafter. In the event of a ship-wide evacuation, report to your commanding officer for emergency directives. Be sure to maintain a calm and collected demeanor at all times so as to avoid alarming any passengers. The class prioritized order for evacuation will be broadcast via the ship-wide loudspeakers. Under no circumstance should you depart the vessel until you have received the clearly stated directive that company personnel are approved for evacuation. Any personnel in violation of this mandate will face immediate disciplinary action up to and including summary execution. Quite the arsenal. The master has stopped this ship well enough to support a small army. <laughs> the company's guard are not known for their subtlety. 
I fail to see the benefit in allowing the company to run its own army. There may be rebels ahead. Be ready. Get the door. I'll cover you. Rebels are resorting to bolder methods. That they are. But something's amiss. This is too bold, even for them. You may be right. But we still must stop them from making things worse. Keep moving. We have to find that second device. He must have gone through there. Can you get through? I think so. Look out! One old friend. Too close for comfort. <sighs> Leave it be. Uh, uh, there must be another way. There's no time. Go on without me. I'll find another way through. And don't lose the mark.
What's going on? The damage from the explosion is getting worse. How long can you stabilize this ship? Not long, Monsieur. Do what you can, Marquis. Just give us a few more minutes. Understood. Percival, there were rebels in the cabins. I've cleared the mouse, and I'm continuing my pursuit. Understood. I'm heading to the stern of the ship, and we'll sweep back towards you. We lost multiple gas cells. The ship is uncontrollable. Get it one leave. It's almost as stubborn as you are. Marquis, abandon ship. Be great. If you have to, knock him unconscious and drag him to a lifeboat. Galahad! Hold your fire! There's no time, Percival. We have to stop him. Trust me, Grayson. Listen to me, lad. Stand down. You have no idea who you're dealing with. We are not the enemy. Then prove it! Stop this madness. No. Not as long as the company is allowed to carry on and obstruct it. They won't. We'll see to it. Sebastian! Friend. You don't have to do this. 